Hello, it's Bini here. I believe that if you want to make money from forex trading or any form of trading, the best way is not to look at your losing trade, but to look at your winning trades. Find out the best practices that make this particular trade a winning trade and keep repeating on it. And that would be a huge change in terms of your performance. This is a trade on Euro Yen done using wash and wins. We shorted somewhere around at this bar and to take profit here or using wash and wins and wash line. I covered this trade live during my live session. Let's hear a short review on what I've said. I think that potentially we can look into the Yen pairs. So Euro Yen is something, you know, because of the weak wash, all right, that it's, uh, uh, you can consider. And just now, at the 9 o'clock bar, it also closed below two wash lines here. So you see, this is closed below two wash lines here, all right? That's, that's to me, it's, it's bearish. Forget about dodgy, forget about shooting stars, forget about other candlesticks. One of the things that you should always look out for when price is near to a very important price level would be wide range candle or what I call as impulse candle. For example, on this chart here, there is a very strong resistance here. So this is the resistance. And what do you look out for? Yes, you look out for dodgies. Dodgies are like indecision candles, but that doesn't tell us a lot of things because even when a dodgy happens, it doesn't really mean that price would move down in a huge, tremendous manner. What really would move in a huge, tremendous manner is when you see this wide range impulse candle where these candles represent a wash behavior. This wash behavior means that price had been purposely pushed up like this particular candle here. So this is what I term a wash bar where price is near to a resistance level and price had been pushed up purposely to show this very bullish price reaction or behavior but in fact it is just a time for them to unload to you at a high price that means you are going to buy at a high price while the big players the professionals are going to sell when they are unloading that high price to you in fact they are taking a counter position I call this a potential wash bar if there is a price that closed above the previous high and if price closed back down, this becomes a rinse bar. So this is a wash and rinse and what you have to look out for is this impulse candle. And this is exactly the best practices that I did in the Euro Yen trade. I was looking out for this impulse wide range candle that's green in color or if you are looking at a white versus black candle then that would be a white color candle basically a white range bullish candle near to a resistance level let's show a replay on euro yen chart this was that huge impulse candle is an end that means that it's not difficult to spot it is near to a cluster of resistance here. So that's the clear resistance. And if it's near the resistance, shouldn't be that price will be showing like a shooting star, price be showing a dodgy. No, this is not what the price is showing right now because there's a lot of automation because it's so obvious that everybody was looking for a dodgy, for a shooting star. It's just, how to say, you know, the market is not going to give you this kind of obvious trade. Instead, it showed you this huge impulse candle. It's almost like telling you that, hey, look, price is so bullish that it might just break this resistance anyway. So they are asking you to enter. But the best practices coming from wash and wins is that when it's near to a resistance and you see this type of impulse candle, wait. Let's wait. Wait to see if price can trade below the wash line. If it doesn't, we just wait for the breakout to happen. But what happens if that if price trades below the wash line where this is your wash line and if price can close below this, then we will be looking for a sell. And logically, somewhere around here would be a support level and that's for us to take the profit. Right, so let's let's take a look at this replay because I've already talked about this live in my session, but we just take a look at this replay here. 
Okay, you can see what happened exactly. Price actually moved out. That means that price had closed below the wash line. So these would be the wash bar and then these would be the rins bar because this particular bar price had a close below the wash line and you do have a retracement again towards the wash line for a transfer entry. And then this place here would be your profit take. And it's just so simple. Let's take a look at another example that happened recently too. This is a weekly chart on pound cat. I know that this is a little bit of a high time frame, but I'm just trying to illustrate that wash and rinse happens in all time frame, not only on, for example, the day or on the H4 chart, but it does become very obvious also in the week chart as well. This is a replay as well. Right, it's happened recently and we know that there's a very clear resistance level here seen by the previous high and guess what same thing as the weekly chart approached this resistance level it showed a impulse wide range candle it's the same thing isn't it we don't see dodgy we don't see shooting stars we see instead this like very very bullish impulse wide range candle that suggests that it's almost going to break through this resistance All right for us what we will do is we just draw in a wash line here at the previous high if you want to know how to draw a wash line please refer to the previous video that i've done here and we just wait to see whether price can trade below the wash line or continue to trade upwards because our idea is that we should be buying near the low not near when it is near to a resistance okay so that's a very very important change of mindset when it's near to the resistance look out for this huge wide range impulse candle here's the outcome of this trade all right you can see it doesn't break that resistance in fact it's actually closed below the wash line to result in a bearish move perhaps you ask me can we do the same thing and can we just trade this off the day chart because if we just wait for the week chart it's just going to miss a whole huge move isn't it so let's go inside the day chart here and same thing we would spot for that impulse candle can see that this is the same resistance and when it moved up it had this huge impulse candle isn't it we are able to draw another different wash line because this wash line will belongs to the day wash line right so this is what we call the weak wash line we just shift that up higher and you see that there was a huge up where this is the impulse candle which i call a wash bar and when price cannot close above the resistance level which is this as the resistance level and then it's closed back down below the wash line here so this becomes the rinse bar and a chance for us to go short and that's how wash and rinse is being done here have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like in this tutorial not only i wanted to bring to your attention about the use of wash and rinse but i just wanted to say one thing when you have a winning trade change the mindset look into how you make this winning trade and understand the best practices that you did for example for me every time when price is near to a resistance i look up for this huge bar of impulse to wide range candle draw in my wash line and i just assume that a resistance is a resistance a support is a support until it's broken how about yours and do share with me the steps that lead to your winning trade i'll be very happy to hear from you i come to the end of this tutorial and if you like what i've shared please remember to hit the subscribe and the like button and to share it with your friends because i think that this video might benefit a lot of people who are looking to succeed in trading